Hey, what's up guys? Checking out the latest version of Vomer Tweaks. It was updated to 0.6 on the Google Play Store as of February 10th. There are some pretty nice improvements here, but I'm still having some issues and I'm gonna go over that in this video. One of the first things you're going to notice with the new version and the new update is the fact that it does have a green lit kernel version. And this will mean that you are in fact using a kernel that is supported with the application. You also have a root status, which is going to show you whether or not your device is in fact rooted, as you are going to need to be rooted in order to use this application and its many features. You're also going to see the tweak application settings here, and VT Dynamic and Performance used to have descriptions. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, the developer decided to remove those descriptions. But to explain those to you real quickly, the VT Dynamic is two cores enabled until a heavy CPU load, and then it will basically enable all of the cores available on your device once you hit that heavy CPU load. You also have a performance option, and that obviously is going to mean that all cores are going to be enabled at all times. You can actually select these and enable them in real time on the fly. You can also set tickers, and you can see the ticker here, and that will basically mean that you will apply that setting upon boot. So it will actually set a boot status. That's pretty nice, and that is a new implementation. And these do in fact work, and they do stick through a reboot. Now, there are some issues, however, with the swipe and gesture options that I experience at least with the Nexus 6 currently. So be aware of this. You do have your double tap to wake option and you can tick this on and off. Very nice feature. And in the sweep to sleep areas, you do have toggles. Now be aware that you can't select multiple toggles as they will conflict and cause problems with each other. So you can only have one ticked at a time. But you do have the option on the bottom of both to enable every single option available for each specific swipe or sweep. So that's pretty nice, and they do in fact work. However, the issues right now are if you reboot your device completely, if you shut it down and reboot it, you will not be able to keep these options. They will actually disable all over, except for the double tap to wake. It's a little bit interesting. If you reboot your device or soft reboot your device, double tap to sleep, or excuse me, double tap to wake will actually stick, but the toggle will show it disabled, but it is actually still working. So I'm not exactly sure what that's about, I think it's just a bug at the moment. So be aware of that, at least with the Nexus 6 again. Now you do have sweep to sleep and sweep to wakes. And these options will be disabled through a reboot. If you do a soft reboot, they will in fact remain. So just be aware of that. It's a little issue right now, at least with the Nexus 6 in general. You also have located at the bottom the reboot and flash options. Now the reboot options will actually give you custom options to reboot the device completely do a custom recovery or bootloader as well. So that's pretty nice integration with the application. You also have a flash feature, but this is a little bit tedious for the user in its current version. You do have an ability to flash with the application, but you are going to have to create the folder to begin with before you can actually flash it. You're going to notice in the description, it says flash a zip under the Vomer tweaks directory in TWRP, but that's not entirely true. You're actually going to create a folder first using your file explorer program of choice navigate to your sd card or main storage and create the folder within that you don't actually place the volmer tweaks folder inside twrp you actually just place it in your sd card and this is actually where you're going to place the files you want to flash you are of course going to rename them file one file two and file three accordingly as you cannot actually flash custom file names in this version. So be aware of that. It's a little bit difficult and probably more tedious than just using TWRP or Flashify. So unless they fix this and make a custom folder selectable and custom file name selectable in the next version, I don't really find it too useful, even though it's there and it can be improved on. You also have at the very top, the ability to go straight into discuss at XDA forum threads where you can actually discuss any problems that you have encountered. You can leave questions or comments in that thread and you can actually donate to the developers themselves. You also have the ability to go into a Nexus 6 modified kernel directory. This will navigate you to a URL that will take you to an Android file host where you can download the modified or the latest version of the modified Franco kernel. You can also download the latest super user through the application. It will just go straight to your device. As you can see there, it is downloading and we are good to go. So there's a lot of nice features with this application, but there is room for improvement overall. And I'm sure it will in fact come with later updates. Anyways, guys, I hope this video helps. Definitely give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Definitely go support these developers and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.